So I was just walking through the woods today, looking around, observing stuff, and then something caught my eye. I was like, is that a marshmallow on a tree? So literally right there. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So that's not a marshmallow on the tree, that's actually a mushroom, a young mushroom, a Raishi mushroom. Now many of you, now many of you might know that mushroom looking like this, but not really looking like this. And that is because, as I said earlier, this is in its very young stages. So we're gonna harvest that and we are going to get some more because we are in prime location, prime time of the year for these mushrooms. Right now, I am standing in an area with tons of Eastern hemlock and that's where these mushrooms grow. So the tree that is on is dead. That's what we're gonna be looking for. We can also look for down trees um, that the mushrooms might also grow on. Now a very easy way to identify eastern hemlock is it is an evergreen. It has very small needles, but the giveaway every single time, and I gotta give credit where credit's due, my um, friend and instructor, Mike Gasper, told me this one a long time ago and it always stuck up here, is on the back side of the needle, there are two small racing stripes. So these two stripes, you do have to look very closely. They are white and they go down the length of the needle. Dead giveaway for eastern hemlock. Okay, so this is the beginning stages of the reishi mushroom, okay? Um, right now, you can see it's getting a little bit of yellow color on the outside, but it has a creamish color all around. Now on the backside closest to the tree, you're gonna see that yellowish color again. Ultimately, that is going to turn orange, and this thing is going to look like a shelf. Then you can also see the start of another one right here, just coming off the tree, and it looks like one right here. So when I cut in, you can see what the inside looks like. Looks like a typical mushroom. It's very soft and delicate at this point still. So this is going to be great for us to take back to the cabin and eat. Now typically when you think about reishi mushrooms, um, you think about the medicinal values of those. And we're gonna talk about that as they're cooking. But at the young state like this, um, definitely edible, you can eat them. There is nothing that's gonna resemble this on hemlocks. So as long as you understand what they look like and you know it's a hemlock tree, you should be good to go. And now we're gonna go look for a little bit more because where there's one, there has to be more. So not far from where we just were, here we have some more mushrooms going, okay? And uh, we're gonna harvest some of these and take these back also. So we harvested the mushrooms at this point now. Um, we're gonna take them back and we are going to cook them. Um, at this very young stage, what they look like right now, um, they are definitely edible and they're actually pretty tasty. As they get older and more mature, they get a lacquered um, top to them. Um, they're very woody, they get very hard, they are not good for eating at all. But these mushrooms have a lot of medicinal values to them. Some of the big ones um, that stick out for me, of course, looking at them is it helps your immune system System, gives you a huge boost with your immune system, helps fatigue, helps with your stress, also helps you sleep. So to use that adult mushroom um, in a medicinal sense, you would wanna make a tincture with that. Just Google it, lots of good information will come up on how to actually do that. I'm not gonna do it on this video because we don't have adult mushrooms. In our case, we're gonna be eating them. So as you can hear, the thunder and the storm is rolling in. So luckily I'm not too far from the school property, so I'm going to get going um, back to the cabin, we'll get the stove out and we will get cooking. All right, 
right, so we're gonna get our pan hot, okay? And then we are going to add some olive oil to it, and we are gonna just sear these mushrooms on both sides, make them a little bit golden brown, and it will be delicious. Just made it back to the cabin in time. Super driving rain, lightning, thunder, it is wild out. But we got the stove moved, and uh, we're gonna be good to go here in a second. Only here in Pennsylvania can it be just a massive thunderstorm one second and now the sun's coming out the next. So uh, our mushrooms are done, okay? I did put some off to the side to take home for later, but uh, let's see what we got going on here. So they're nice and browned up. Like I said, a little bit of olive oil with those. You can see, hopefully, ooh, look at how nice and browned up those things got. So good. Um, they have a, more of a meatier flavor to them. You can tell that they're super, super fresh. Um, those things honestly had to just come up within the last day. Um, man, so good. If you're in a hemlock forest this time of the year, early spring, and you can get out, now you know what you're looking for. Um, again, research everything online when it comes to mushrooms and edibles and stuff like that to make sure you're 100% positive with the identification before you eat anything. Um, but in this case, of course, same thing, but um, these are pretty tough to really mix up. There's nothing else that's gonna grow on a hemlock tree that's poisonous that you can't eat. So um, find your hemlocks, find your Eastern mushrooms, Cook them up if they're young, if they're older. Great for medicinal stuff and uh, yeah, that's all I really got for today. I'm going back to eat my few little mushrooms here and I have a whole bunch more over there I can cook. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I'm not enjoying this weather, maybe when the sun comes back out, but uh, we'll get it all situated. Thank gosh for the cabin today and not being too far from it. So uh, again, thanks for joining me on this little trip. Cool to uh, be able to share everything with everybody that I get to go out and experience here and, and with my life. So I hope you enjoy it too. If you do, hit the subscribe button below. Um, you can also head over to coldcrackerbushcraft.com and check out our gear and our merchandise and our classes, all that good stuff. And uh, until then, find some mushrooms and stay in the woods.